Boss, Sensei Craig coming at you from the Samurai Virtual Dojo. We've got a pre-recorded session for you today. So, warm up, training drills, all that sort of thing. Because it's a pre-recorded session, uh, feel free to pause at any time, complete the reps, uh, go back, look at exercises again. Anyway, let's get into it. Have fun, enjoy. Boss. Okay, because today's session is a novice session that is uh, very basic, uh, our warm up today is going to consist of uh, some basic stances and things like that, moving backwards and forwards. We're going to be learning a bit of kata today uh, from Pinan Sundan. So if you're a bit more advanced, feel free to escalate these exercises, make them a bit more difficult. Excellent, so starting in Haikodachi, we're just gonna step into Zenkutadachi, left leg forward, and hold that for a few seconds. Make sure you're getting a nice stretch down the back of this reverse leg here, bending that front knee properly. No need to do anything with the hands at this stage. And back to Haikodachi, and step in with the other leg now. Good, make sure you're getting that stretch. Remember, this is warming up, and back. Left leg forward, and back. Right leg forward, and back. Good, complete that another 10 times. 10 sets, sorry. So left leg forward, right leg forward, one set, 10 sets, go. All right, same thing now with Nekoashidachi, cat stance. So from here, step left leg forward, Nekoashidachi, like so. Hold, make sure you're getting nice depth there. Bum in, very nice. Hold, and back, and other leg. So for me, left, for you guys, right. Step in like so, good. Nice tight core. And back. Again, 10 sets. From the side, just make sure from here when you step in, not coming forward like so. Remember last week's training I talked about posture. Our body needs to be down like so. Head up. If you like, use the hands like so. So just a knife hand block is fine. But for now, we're just warming up the legs. Like I said, 10 sets. All right, completed my 10 sets. Moving on to Shikodachi. So we're going to step into Shikodachi at an angle. So I'm stepping in, I'm gonna step in with my left leg first. I wanna step at a roughly 45 degree angle. Don't get your protractors out, guys. All right, so from here, we're gonna step in and drop into Shikodachi. Now, don't lean forward, want those bums in, back up straight. If you're going to have a hand position, I'd suggest something like this, or you could go with a Shuto, uh, get on K this way, up to you. So I'm just focusing on the legs, just gonna be like so. Make sure your knees are pushed out, don't let your knees collapse in, guys. Knees out. Good, and hold for three to five seconds, just get a nice burn in the quadriceps, tuck that bum in, and then step back. Same thing on the other side of the body, step in that way. Even though it's a symmetrical stance, you should still practice both sides. All right, left and right, or right and left is one set, complete 10 sets. Excellent. Now that you've completed that, I'm gonna put the three together. So we're going to step, Zenku Tadachi, Zenku Tadachi. Left and right, or right and left. Neko Ashidachi, Neko Ashidachi. Shikodachi, Shikodachi. So, we'll call that one set. And I want you to complete that five times. So here's a demonstration of that set. You can get the hands active now. So make sure in Haikodachi, bum's nice and tucked, core's activated. I'm going to go left leg forward myself first. So step in, nice strong stance. Lock those legs, hold. Three, two, one. And back to Haikodachi, then straight away. As soon as I lock there, bang, in on the other side. Three, two, one, and back to Haikodachi now. As soon as I lock, Nekoashidachi, boom. That's it, get those legs bent, down, 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 down. Two, one, 
and back, moving now, other leg, back, three, two, one, and back, shikodachi now, here we go, and step, excellent, three, two, one, and back, other leg, and nice and sharp, three, two, one, and back, I'll leave you to complete four more sets, while I complete four more sets. Cool. All right, I uh, just completed my uh, final sets of that stance drill, stepping forward and backwards, and Kutsudachi, Nekwashidachi, and Shikodachi. So, just gonna finish with a bit of core strengthening now, so, um, mm, almost nothing better for that than a plank. So, um, Especially for you little ease out there, little samurais, junior novices, make sure that you're setting up your plank properly. Nothing worse, you know, uh, in fit, kids' fitness we say, make a plank and kids, kids do this. You know, boy, no good, no good. Not working the core. So here are some fundamentals, guys. Just keep this in mind. So hands underneath the shoulders. Don't have your arms at an angle here. We want our arms directly beneath our shoulders. Palms flat on the mat or on the floor. Okay, from this position, go one leg back first. So I'm just gonna pop my right leg back there. Now from here you can see I've already got a little bit of arch in my core. I don't want that, so I'm gonna tighten my core now and then pop my other leg back. Okay, now that might be difficult for you guys to see from the side, but from here I've actually got my feet apart. Okay, so at this stage, I don't really want to be planking with my feet together. Anyway, what are the recommended plank times? So from here, tightening the core, I'd recommend little samurais go for 30 seconds. Try to get 30 seconds if you can of a good solid plank. Mums and dads, can you make sure that our little samurais training at home are not bending like this or they're not getting too intense? Intense, get it? Tense? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that was that was terrible. All right, so make sure from here, uh, junior novices, go for a minute. See if you can make it to a minute. If you want to make it longer, go or try for longer, go for it. Uh, cadet and adult novices, maybe try for two, one and a half to two minutes. Anyway, as I said before, beware of this. I don't want to see this. And we don't want to see this tent, tent, jacked up position here. So tighten that butt, tighten those lower abdominals, and hold. Okay, if you're feeling particularly fit and strong, why don't you, uh, every 10 seconds, do a push-up. Keep your core nice and strong. So that's another thing that I like to do. So from here, I'm holding that plank at every 10 seconds. A nice, strong push-up. Again, What's your PB? I can't remember what my plank PB is. Anyway, once you've finished planking, get some water and join me back here. Welcome back guys. If you haven't already, I'd like you to perform a moksor, some kneeling, seiza, meditation. And I want you to do that for the same reason that I want you to put your gi on. Look, if you don't have your gi on, it's not the end of the world. Remember, wherever you are, that's where, you, or wherever you're training, that's where your dojo is. The dojo is not here, where I am right now. The dojo is wherever you're training. Okay, a dojo is a place where you practice or engage in practice of the way. In this instance, the way of karate, karate do, the way of karate. Okay, so the dojo, is wherever you practice the way. It's particularly important that when you're practicing the way that you get your mind in the right space or in the right, you need to be in the right frame of mind. Putting yourself in your gi, performing a moksa and things like that will help you engage in practicing the way. So, some moksa is recommended. Excellent. We're going to start our session today with some shikurachi practice. The kata that we're going to be learning the first part of 
Pinat Sandan, even though there is limited shikodachi in the beginning of the kata, later in the kata, there is some movement through multiple shikodachi, and you need to know how to perform those movements. We're going to be working today, stepping into shikodachi, but also stepping through shikodachi. How the hips pivot, and then we step, particularly at a novice level. Okay, so focusing on the legs, as we know, Shikodachi should be a symmetrical start this way. That is, same on both sides. So, <laughs> this is not shiko. This is not shiko. Okay, so we want both knees bending out the same, or proportionately. Weight down through the center of the stance. Imagine someone's pulling your belt down. Good, but don't lean forward. Body up nice and straight. Very good. Lots of practice in shikodachi is recommended for leg strength. The more shikodachi practice you, you complete, the stronger your legs will get, the longer you'll be able to stand in shikodachi. Okay, when stepping into shikodachi, we don't, we don't want to step like this. This is slow, awkward, and, well, to be honest, lacking control. <laughs> Sorry, just getting rid of some uh, detritus on the mat. Okay, so from here, when stepping into Shikodachi, what we actually want to do is step into well, almost a Zenkutsudachi. Almost. I say almost because... My, my back foot is, my back heel is up, and I haven't really turned that foot yet. However, my stance is roughly two fists wide, and from here, my weight is on the ball of the front foot, my knee is bending. You can see that's, that's almost as Zen it at you. Now, from here, I want to pivot my back foot and turn my hip out. This way. Very good. Okay, what does that look like from here? So, I step in, as I said before, not too wide, almost then puts it at chi. That back foot hasn't really turned, the heel is up, otherwise it's a, a fairly good then puts it at chi. Now, I'm going to start with the foot, the rear foot. I'm going to pivot it, and as I do, this hip is going to pull back, and then I can drop my weight a little more. Remember, at a novice level, we're not looking for perfection. So we don't need to drop straight away. Good. Keep that bum tucked in. Excellent. And return to Haikodachi. Now, hopefully you've been following along. If not, start now. So I'm going to go with the other leg. Zen Kutsudachi. This way, the heel is slightly lifted at the back. I can feel that stretch. Remember the warm-up? How we stepped in and we got that stretch. Good, now pivot that back foot. Now how far do we turn it? We turn it until it is pointing roughly 45, 50, 60 degrees back this way. And then drop down. Good. And hold it there. Excellent. All right. So that's how we step into Shikodachi. So, we did practice that in the warm up, but it might be a good idea for you guys to practice tense, another 10 sets of that. And as we sometimes do with our, well, as we often do with our basic drills, escalate. So the first two sets go at that pace. The next two sets go a little faster and so on. Perhaps by the end, it'll be looking something like this. Remember those pivots, so one, two. And then from there, pivot, and then step back. Don't forget your weight breaking as well. So from here, don't push back like so. Pivot, break the weight back, and then smoothly step back. 10 sets, go. Fantastic, okay. What we're going to look at now is actually stepping from shikodachi to shikodachi. Now that happens quite often in kata. 
even at a basic level. So in Pinam Nidan, there are the four movements in the final chapter where we turn into Shikurachi and then we pivot step, pivot Shikurachi. Then we, 90 degrees, Shikurachi, Shikurachi. In Pinam Sanda, we have three steps in the second half of the kata where we block with the elbow and strike Uriken. Okay, so, and, and, and by the way, a multitude more kata have uh, really important sections where we're either moving into Shikudachi, from Shikudachi, or through multiple Shikudachis. So, this is really important. So in this simple exercise, we're going to start with one leg moving forward into Shikudachi. In this case, my left leg, I'm going to step and turn into Shikurachi. Okay, then from this position here, I'm going to practice staying up nice and straight, pivoting, stepping through Zen Kutsudachi, and pivoting on the other side. How did that go? Good job. Now, from here, I want you to bring this, well, let's call it our back leg. I want you to bring that back leg up so you're facing the other way. Now I started left leg when I was facing the other way, so this time I'm going to step in with my right leg, pivot, turn, pivot, step, pivot. Now from here I'm going to bring this back leg up and I'm back at the beginning. So let's have a look at that again. I'll talk you through which leg I'm using. So from here, tuck, left leg forward, shiko, left, hold, pivot, right leg forward. Now the left leg, pivot and step up or back. Now, right leg, pivot. Pivot, step, left, pivot, shiko, pull that right foot, back. And you're back to the beginning, well done. Okay, nice little, nice little drill that you can do in a, well, I'm actually completing this drill in a three by three matted area. Okay, so if you're a little samurai, you're not gonna, you're not gonna need three, meters squared, you're probably only going to need two meters squared. Junior novices, maybe a little bit more room. Adults, you might need a nine meter, a nine meter area like me. But as you can see, it's a great little drill that you can complete at home. I'm sure most of you have got your training space set up by now. So what I'm trying to do is, is think of things that you can practice at home that don't require a lot of room. All right, so little samurais, I know your attention span is not fantastic. So I would love you guys to complete that exercise three times or five times if you can. Junior novices, you're a bit older. Come on guys, I know that you're disciplined. Okay, and I want you to complete that exercise 10 times. And how about you cadets and adults out there, teenagers and adults? Well, ideally, you know, 10 should probably be enough, but if you wanna do more, go for it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, hope you had uh, some good success with that exercise, that shikodachi movement exercise that we just practiced there. What we're going to do now is I'm just gonna show you, I wouldn't call it a variation, but we're just gonna scaffold, or we're just gonna go up to the next level now. So as most of you know that train with me already, moving up to the next level from here just means simply adding technique. So we're skill managing now. So we're not just thinking about the legs and the stance and the movement, we're now adding the hands in. At this novice level, we want to keep it separate, just so we're not managing too much at once. Okay, so, well, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter what hand technique we put in here, but it's usually good to put a block or some sort of action into a shikurachi. So we'll probably use a, uh, a get anuke uh, or a shuto movement like so. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in our... Hakodachi position. So, I'm gonna step in, or you can step in as well if you like, with the left from here. Hands at the ready. As we pivot now into Shiko, I want you to wind up 
and you can block shuto or closed hand, up to you. Okay, I like this one because, hey, it's like pinan nidan. Okay, now from here, pivot, don't move your hands. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so, particularly in kata, when we turn and move, we don't want our hands to move. So, pivot, step, as you pivot, block on the other side. Now, that left leg pulls up into your way. Now, right leg forward, and block, pivot, step, pivot and block. Right leg comes up now, hands come up, and you've completed that exercise. That's one set. All right, little samurais, three to five sets, junior novices, everyone else, 10 or more. I'm gonna do my 10 sets, and I'll see you back here in a moment. Ha, <laughs> no, I just, I just thought I'll throw something a little bit more difficult in. Sorry, I'm, I'm puffy. Um, while you guys were off working on that, I did a couple of sets and then I thought, I wanna challenge myself a little bit more. Maybe some of you out there are like that and you've got this equipment at home, so ha ha ha. Okay, here's my PTP, 20 kilogram uh, resistance tube. Uh, I'm working in dojo number two today, so we've knocked, some of the, we've knocked some of the walls out, so I've anchored that to one of the wooden frames. And what I've been doing is I've been practicing that shikodachi drill. Obviously, um, it's difficult to turn around, but then that pulls on me the other way. And if I let my belt move, it works really quite well. So I'll, I'll show you what I've been doing. So I've been starting with some um, resistance there, just not really much at all. And I've been stepping into shiko and letting my, my belt turn so that's pulling me that way. Now from here, I'm turning Whoa, turning there, let your belt turn, and then hold it there. I guess what I was kind of hoping was that this would uh, rip the frame down for me, but no such luck, I'm not that tough. Okay, now from here, here's the, here's the tough part, coming around and then oh, pulling, pulling back to high could actually that way. All right, now I don't want to get slingshotted forward, so oh, stepping forward that way, and then Stepping forward that way, and then coming back that way. So there, there you go. There's a there's an alteration, or a, not an alteration, a um, a slight change, a slight difference to the drill. Uh, if you're looking for something a bit more challenging, try it with some uh, resistance. Oh yeah, I can say heavy, heavy shikodachi load the training exercises today. Lots of shikodachi work. Good for the legs, good for the butt. Okay. So we're gonna finish our shikodachi training and then we'll get a little bit of pin and sun done. We're gonna finish our shikodachi training today uh, with some pivoting into zenkuts, zenkuts adachi, uh, and punching gakazuki, which is another important skill to learn at a basic level, okay? Okay, so let's have a look at the basics of transitioning. We've already actually done it. When we pivoted earlier and then we stepped and then went into another shikodachi. Well, that pivot is where we're going to launch our punch. So from this position, what I'm talking about is stepping in to shikodachi here. Okay, let's uh, let's set up let's set up a let's set up a, a block here. Okay, the reason in kata that this arm is straight across the body a lot of time is so that when we pivot, it can just shoot straight forward. The problem the problem with this position here at a novice level is that unless you're really mindful, the, the elbow is going to hook. The elbow is going to hook around and we don't want to punch like that. So you can have your arm here as long as you understand not to launch the punch until you've pivoted and your arm, your hikite is straight. Okay, so we, we don't want to see it coming around the corner like that. Look at that punch there. You can see that coming from a mile away. Okay, so it's, it's massively telegraphed. Not only that, but it's lacking power, the correct muscle groups. I'm throwing it from the shoulder, I'm using all the small muscles. I'm not using my hip, I'm not using my lats, my back muscles to throw that punch.
Okay, so now that I've talked about the uh, correct position for the hikite, I'm gonna step in with the left from here and block. Now, we're gonna pivot really sharp, really sharp and fast with this back leg, like so, as if we're going to step. But as we do, we're going to launch that hikite and punch. Very nice. Good. From that position, back to shiko, sharp, and come back to heiko. All right, for those of you more advanced out there who are doing this session as well, grab your tube, get your tube in the hand, punch with the tube, some resistance will be good. Okay, novices, if you're a little bit more experienced, older, cadets, adults, you could try the same thing. Right. Other side, so step in here, and block. Nice sharp pivot. Okay, from that position, I'm gonna use that back leg to pivot fast, ready, and punch. Very nice. And pivot back and block. And back. Whew, good stuff. All right, so what does a set look like? I'm gonna go right leg forward first. You can go left leg, whatever you like. So one set is both sides of the body. Okay, I'll count you through one set. All right, little samurais, you're then gonna complete five sets. Junior novice, 10. Cadet, adult novices, 20. But remember, this is your training. Do as many as you like. Here we go. Etch! Nay! Sun! Yon! Back to yoi. Other side of the body. Etch! told you the sets before. Pause here, off you go. Okay, so how'd you go with that shikodachi training? Excellent. All right, so just before we start learning chapter one of Pinan Sandan, we just have to teach you a block. Now, forgive me, I know that some of you out there, particularly cadets and adults, you've probably learned this block already. So feel free to skip past this uh, or uh, skip past this section of the training to the, uh, the Pinan Sandan practice. Okay, for those of you who have not learned the Uchi Uke block before, please stay with this section, this is really important. All right, so I'm not gonna go into a huge... Okay, so I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of detail, um, but enough to, get you, enough to get you started with the block. So from this position here, left hand forward, now feel free to kneel in Caesar like me, okay? So we're not concentrating on our legs or our core or anything like that at this moment in time. All right, so left hand forward. Do make sure you've got good posture though. All right, now an uchuke, it's the reverse of our soto chudan, okay? So it's a chudan block, so this area here. But what I'm doing is I'm coming around and then, imagine the technique is on this side and I am blocking out that way. Okay, now we don't want to block over here, this is no good. We don't want the arm, the elbow out here. We want the elbow in line with the body. And the forearm moves across. So as you can see, my fist and forearm, remember angles, remember geometry. Okay, from here, going just to the outside of my shoulder. That will then deflect the technique, whether it's a punch or a strike, just past. Okay, so let's have a look. So, blocking with the right hand first. So, our hikite comes underneath, and then from there, let's just pull this hand back. Good. Now, keeping your elbow where it is, for those of you who understand the term or the concept of a lever and its fulcrum, socket your elbow into the fulcrum so it doesn't move, and then move your forearm and fist like a lever. Very nice. Sorry guys, sweating. Glasses slip. <laughs> Minor adjustment. Okay, so underneath. Now, let's just pull this back. We're chunking and sequencing, guys. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not trying to master this block in one step. Okay, and from here, the elbow is now socketed into the fulcrum. 
It's a le- the arm is now a lever. So let's not move, you know, we don't want to move the base of the lever. So, like so. Good. Okay. Hikite underneath. Pull back with that hand. And keeping the, the bottom of the lever still, block around. Practice this as many times as you need to. I'll do a few, and especially you little samurais and junior novices, please follow along. So ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Now, if you need to keep going at that pace, rewind the video, go back a bit, and do this section again. Okay, for those of you who are feeling comfortable with that, let's go a little faster. I'm going to count once per block. Yet. Knee. Sun. Yon. Go. Rock. Nana. Q. Ju. Well done. Shall we go faster? Good. Gates. Knee. Sun. Yo. Go. Run. Nana. Hat. Q. Kiai. Give your arms a shake, well done. Okay. All right, I know you're super excited to start your Pinan Sandan now. So, start in Haikodachi, hands out, boy. Let me just talk you through the first part. Now, of course, you're going to go to the left. So if you're facing me, which probably most of you are, watching on your screens, okay, I'm gonna go to the right, and you'll be following me to your left. So normally when when I practice, I go to the left. Okay. But I want to, I'm turning and facing you. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my right, but from where you're standing, you can mirror me and go to the left. Okay, so we're going to start with Nekowashi Dachi and that block we just learned. Uchi Ukai. Excellent. Right. Now from here, we're going to step up into Musubidachi. Okay, and we're going to do a double movement. Okay, I'll just demonstrate this for those of you who already know how to do it, then I'll show you facing the camera. So from here, I'm going to block with my left hand, Gedan Uke. My right hand is going to block Uchuke, the block we just learned. Then we're going to squeeze our elbows together and do that on the other side. All right, let me show you that facing you. All right, so I start by moving into Nekoashidachi to the left. There's that Uchuke underneath, block around. Step up, Musubidachi. Now watch, this hand here, my left hand, is going to block Genanuke. My right hand is going to circle and block Uchiuke. Okay, so Nekoashidachi, left Uchiuke, Musubidachi, right hand underneath, Uchiuke, left hand, Geranuke. Very nice. Good. So watching, Nekoashi dachi, uchukai. Musubi dachi, one, two. Now the left foot moves forward. Forward, follow the foot around, turn into right, Nekoashi dachi, block right, uchukai. 
Very nice. Now step up, Musubidachi. Left hand goes underneath. Block left Uchiuke. Right, get on uke. Very good. Pause, go back, and practice that as many times as you need to. When you've done that, check out this next section. Okay, so in this next section, I'm going to give you a, a bit of an idea of how these movements come together now. So, one, turn the head. Two, nekawashidachi and uchiuke. Three, step up. Now watch. I squeeze my elbows together, but the blocks happen at the same time. That'll take some practice. Squeeze, block. The left foot moves forward and across. Nekawashidachi and uchiuke. Step up, underneath, squeeze, block, block. Okay, that's chapter one, chapter one of Pinan Sandan. In, later in the week, we're going to do chapter two. So I need you to practice chapter one quite a bit before we do chapter two. Okay. Okay. It's been a great training session. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Uh, lots of shikudachi, lots of pivoting. That was excellent. And uh, I know some of you probably looking at this or learning this block, which UK for the first time. I hope you've enjoyed that and done really well with that. We'll talk about what, how that block is useful in future episodes, future lessons. For now, we needed to learn that block so that we could learn uh, the beginning of Pinan Sandan, Pinan number three. Okay. Uh, for now, this is Sensei Craig coming at you from the Samurai Virtual Dojo. Don't forget to join us later this week uh, for our live broadcast on Wednesday at 4.30 uh, of a little samurai training and 5 o'clock uh, junior training. In the meantime, stay well, keep training, os. See you later.